rock stars. I've been doing some scrolling online and I found two badass projects that I want to build off of our Facebook group page. Our Facebook group is growing like crazy. If you want to get in on some of the action and share your project videos, photos, and ideas, consider joining our Facebook group today. I'll leave a link to our Facebook group down in the description as well as right up here in the left hand corner. Today's video is sponsored by Nobody. Fight Woodworks. Our first project for this video was shared on our Facebook group by Ellen Wicker. Ellen shared this awesome candle holder, and today we're gonna put our own skin on this thing. All right, so we're gonna get started over here at the table saw. Now you want to get a four x four if you want to do it like the one in the photo, but Where's the fun in that? I'm gonna be using some eight quarter by six and we'll get it cut down to dimensions at the table saw. Hopefully I don't bust my butt. All right. <sighs> All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of my ash, cut 12 inches. Where is my pencil? Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get it cut to 12 and a half for now. Don't forget to smack that ash. I mean, the like button. Now, we'll go ahead and get it cut 12 inches. Ah, there you are. So, our holes are two inches wide because our candle holders are an inch and seven eighths at the base and then two inches right at the top of the candle. So now we just gotta get our stock ripped down to two and three quarters. And we'll slap on our PPP. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got our two and three quarter inch piece ripped, we're gonna take and get our layout for the candle holders. Now I'm a little bit up in the air if I want four or three. So for demonstration purposes of this video, I'm just gonna do three holes because all I've got on me is three candles. <laughs> so with that being said, we want a half inch in between each candle because we'll have a half inch on either side of our candles. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in one inch and then mark that for the start of my hole. So the center of my hole will be at two inches. And then we got a two inch hole. So that will be our first hole right here. Now from that edge of this hole, we'll go a half inch and then that will be the start of our other hole. So we'll continue this process until we lay out our three holes. And if I'm just confusing the hell out of you, <laughs> don't worry because I'll post a link in the description for a set of plans to this piece as soon as I get them finished up. All right, we'll get the center marked with our marking wheel. So we'll get our holes punched and get them drilled out. And come over here to our vise because I realize that not everybody has a drill press. All you're going to need for this project is a 2 inch Forster bit and you should be able to get these drilled out fairly easy with your drill. Just take your time. Yeah, this is going to take a few minutes. <laughs>
Don't be like me. I wound up messing mine up. I drilled on the wrong layout mark, so now I gotta do all of this over again. But that's okay because I found a cool piece of cherry that I'm gonna make a new one out of. I'll speed this up, don't worry. The moral of the story, it's okay to make mistakes. Just fix them. So I really wanna put a fourth one there and keep our 12 inch length. So, I happen to remember putting a couple under my moxin bites here. So, we're in luck. All right, so let's go ahead and get our last hole drilled out. But just keep in mind that when you're using your drill, you wanna make sure it's level, but also you wanna make sure you're holding that thing nice and steady because it will catch and kick on you and you don't want that trouble. All right, now let's head on over to our table saw and get those angles cut. Check this out. We've got our bevel set at 15 degrees and our blade is raised one inch. Once we make our first cut on either side, we'll scooch it over a half inch at a time. Let me demonstrate. Now we'll get it all sanded down. <laughs> we'll get it all sanded down to 150. And we're gonna keep it simple with a coat of yow. <laughs> a coat of shellac. All right, here's the moment of truth. Whoa, yeah, let's not do that. I'm down a candle, down a candle. Yep, that's not gonna work. Wow, rock stars. I gotta tell you, I'm absolutely in love with this project. Why is it so dark in here? Ah, much better. For this project, I would sell it with the four candles and I would post it on my Etsy shop for 50 bucks. What? what? 50 bucks, Daniel? Hell yeah, 50 bucks. This thing is so cool. And when you get all four of the candles in here, the light that comes out of these sides is just so warm and just makes it for a peaceful setting. And I absolutely love these things. Moving right along for our next. Who the hell is that? What's up, bud? Nothing, I'm just making sure they're still watching. Are they still watching? I mean, I'm sure they are. Rock stars. Y'all still watching? Leave a like and a comment if you're still here. Now get on out of here, man. Got work to do. Sheesh. This next project was shared by another member of our Facebook group, Mr. Bobby Cook. Bobby shared this super unique wine glass holder. And I'm gonna show you 
how to build it. Meet me at the table saw. I've got some of this leftover cypress shiplap and I need to get it cleaned up a little bit and get it cut down to dimensions. So I'm gonna take care of that real quick and I'll meet you back here. So we're gonna make our length eight inches. And the next thing I'll do is measure my width, which is at six and a quarter. And then I'll set my glass on here and just mark the very edge of the side of the glass on both sides. And from each side, those marks are at an inch and five eighths. So what we wanna do now is take and dado out this area inside here. But first we need to square down those lines. And we're gonna leave a quarter inch from the top down. So basically, we're just datoing out that very bottom center. Now, I realize everybody doesn't have a dado stack, so I'm gonna show you a different way that we can make this work. Check it out. We're gonna go ahead and cut this piece directly in half. The reason why is we gotta put a slot right at the center either way, that way we can slide in our glasses. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now what you want to do is raise your blade right up to that mark we made earlier. Once you get your blade height set, just go ahead and move your fence over to where you're going to be cutting that line right there on the waist side. Now, just take and drop your blade to this height right here. And slide your fence over until you're lined up with your blade to take this line. So my wine glass is shaped a little different to where my little bottom here is taller than most. So what I'm gonna do to delete that is take a notch out of the bottom piece here at those same marks that are here and here. Let me demonstrate. I'll set my blade for a quarter inch height and just cut this dado out one blade at a time. Now we'll just sneak up on a fit, that way our glass slides right in that slot. I need to take about 3 16 off of this side. And there we have it. Alright gang, we're going to go ahead and get this sanded down to 150 grit and then we'll get it glued together. All right, we'll grab some clamps. Grab our, whoops, glue. And you know what time it is. If you know the song, sing along. We gonna add a dab of glue, 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 add a dab of glue. We'll just give it a nice rub joint on both of these. You don't want to clamp too tight, though. Just a little bit of pressure. What would you know about pressure? All right, we'll set this to the side and let it dry. Hey, gang, while that's drying, please hit that like button. It really helps fight that algorithm. And we'll go back to our simple shellac finish. Wow. 
Wow, gang. Such an elegant, awesome, simple project for every skill level of woodworker. I highly recommend this. So whether it's the candle holder with the awesome lighting effects or this super simple wine glass holder, I hope these two projects drew some inspiration out of you today. I want to give a huge thank you to Bobby Cook and Ellen Wicker. Thanks for sharing those projects on our Facebook group. Football. <laughs> Don't forget to request to join our Facebook group today. The link is in the description. And until next time, get in your shop and make some sawdust. Skull.